everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE figure display for you guys. Coming into 2020, you know, usually I don't really show off the collection on display a lot of the time during the year because you guys know at the beginning of the year, starting off in 2021, we're going to upload a new room tour. We're going to take you through the new room. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, we're probably going to be in a completely new house. So that one should be, that one should be pretty freaking epic. But today, guys, I got the brand new setup going and I'm super excited to show it off. We've added some new things here. We've changed some stuff up and I'm excited to show it off to you guys so let's go ahead and start off guys over here now you guys will probably notice okay in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth so when we first moved in this house I wanted to put my figures on display you guys know that we do the one inch right here we do the little it's like a one inch board and they're like two or three inches like in width like this and I hung them up I've done so many around the room like you guys can see here we have so many uh, shelves of these things around the room and so when we first moved in I don't know how long these are maybe 30 30 inches maybe uh, I don't know maybe 24 inches I don't I don't freaking know but when we first moved in this wall was obviously completely blank none of these shelves were here but I went and got these three shelves so this top shelf the middle shelf and the bottom shelf is what I got from Lowe's I took them home I painted them black they were just regular planks of wood I painted them black hung them up on the wall and for a while there all we had was this top portion the middle portion and the bottom portion you guys may remember it from a couple room tours or display videos it used to just be these three shelves right here well fast forward later on I, I got more figures. I got more stuff that I wanted to display. So right here, we added these two sections here and here. And on this side, we added the same thing. So we went to the middle sections and the top sections, and we added these two uh, shorter shelves right here. And we left the bottoms blank. But today, we finally got up the final portion. I have added some to the right side over here, and I've added some to the left side so that I can completely get it wall to wall here with all three shelves. And we got so many superstars going on. I want to take you guys through it. I'm not going to go super, super detailed because, you know, we do have the room tour, but I will show you guys a quick glance over every single shelf here. And then we did rearrange and change up some stuff over there. This remained the same. We didn't touch anything over here and we did not ch really touch our roster shelves. So we'll probably not cover these over here, like the roster shelves, just because there's other videos that you guys can check out if you want to see that. And then these shelves up here really haven't been touched. So we are going to go through these though. We're going to do a quick run through over here because there's a couple changes there, but the main focus will be over here on this wall so let's go ahead and get started guys let's start off on the bottom left hand corner on the bottom shelf now coming over here you guys will notice we have the Matt Hardy section so if you guys see any repeat figures you know like you guys can see there with the ringside exclusive and the FYE exclusive two pack right there uh, the reason that I have multiples of certain figures is for future customs future fix up surgery videos any stuff like that so if you guys see any repeat figures that is the reason why but after Matt Hardy we do come into the Kurt Angles now you're probably wondering why Matt Hardy isn't next to his brother it's because i ran out of room which you guys will see later on but there's the kurt angle figures right there this is very new you know used to i used to have my current roster shelf going across this way but i did switch it up and i got my boy finn balor in here you guys know that finn balor is one of my top guys so i wanted to put him over here because i have a lot of figures of him man we got different attires we got different non-demons we get into the big demons one finn missing some legs right there which is unfortunate need to get some elite 74 kick pads for that guy or some white kick pads but you see some fix up some different customs and stuff then we morph into the demons so we got the demon king on display here all the different mattel demons that we've got network spotlight entrance greats elite 70 some different customs you got ultimate edition coming up there then you have a bunch of customs these are uh, not only you know uh, certain paints that he's worn in real life in nxt and on the main roster but then we get into some fantasy paints that uh, i used to do all of the time and they're really fun you know they're really fun they just get you know you get other things other priorities and stuff but then we get into some of his independent demons when he was Prince Devitt. And you got Venom, you got Anti-Venom, you got Spawn, you got the Joker. Then you finish it up with some fantasy attires. And then you do have the current NXT Finn Balor there at the end. Which I put that at the end because it is current day. And I also did that so it's easier to, you know, grab this Finn Balor off the shelf. So I don't have to go into here and get it off the shelf for a video or something. So there we go. You got the Finn Balor figures. If we move up, guys, you will see that we do have the Undertaker shelf. So I really need a lot more Undertakers. We're missing a lot of Undertakers here because uh, usually 
typically, not every single shelf, but most of the time, these figures are on display from the beginning of their career all the way up to current day is usually how I, I you know, I like to display my figures. But uh, we are missing quite a few. I do not have every Elite Undertaker at the moment, but giving you guys a quick glance over here just so you guys can, you know, check it out and see what you guys think. Got the Ghostbusters one down there, a few headless and stuff, but plenty of work to come for the Undertaker shelf and section. And when we get our new house, I'm going to have, you know, more shelves and stuff like that because this room is pretty solid, but I think our new house, we're probably going to be getting a, uh, a big basement here for, for everything. Thing, so it should be epic and that room tour should be nice. So if we come down from the Undertaker's guys We will enter the Seth freaking Rollins section So let's come down here to the beginning so you guys can start off with the NXT Rollins So we do have NXT Rollins down here on the end then you enter all of his shield looks uh, I think yeah, we got Elite 25 all the different Walmart three packs the Elite 30 I think or Elite 33 then you go into his uh, shield split phase You got Mr. Money in the Bank all the different attires 2015 WWE Champion SummerSlam the Elite 40 45 Rollins is one of my favorite elites ever, so I do have quite a few of those. Different fix-ups, different moments, things of that nature. So if you guys are wondering why this one's missing the hand tape, it's because his wrist gauntlet actually fell off during the matchup, and after the match, he didn't have that on. So I have the moment where he captured both titles from John Cena, and you have the uh, wrist gauntlet missing. Moving on, guys, you got Slammy Award winner in 2015. You got all of his gray and black return gears from Extreme Rules, where he attacked Roman Reigns. On through into the SummerSlam 2016 gear, on into WrestleMania. I got some fantasy attack going on in here. SummerSlam 2017, Royal Rumble 2018, I think, in the in the Creator Wrestler gear. That may have been 2019. I think it was 28. Yeah, it was 2018, I'm pretty sure. Moving on down, we do have Monday Night Rollins with all of his nice titles there. Great run for Rollins there. WrestleMania 34, you got Summer 2018, SummerSlam 2018, Royal Rumble 2019, Shield Return, WrestleMania 35. You got like a fix-up of SummerSlam 2019 right there. Survivor Series 2019, Current Day Rollins, WrestleMania 30. Six. Then we enter into a bunch of customs and like fantasy attires where I just did a bunch of part switching and stuff. Then you get into some fantasy attires. You got the fantasy attire Punisher, the fantasy attire Buzz Lightyear that you guys love so much. Uh, you got Santa Claus Rollins, you got Naked Rollins, and then you have the new Top Talents Rollins there at the end from Extreme Rules 2019. So that is the second shelf. We also have a bunch of heads down here for head swaps later on, but there's the Rollins Taker shelf and uh, I was about to say somebody else, but I guess it's just Rollins and Taker. Nothing more, nothing less. So if we go up to the top over there, guys, we're going to get into the AJ Styles now. I would like to have a lot more AJ Styles. There's so many different attires and stuff that we could get, but I feel like I don't like to collect AJ Styles figures because you guys know that we get the, you know, the Daniel Bryan style torso from Mattel, so I don't really like to collect his figures that much, but you know, I do have some cool customs over here. We got some cool figures and stuff like that. I do have the Elite 77, but it is on my current roster shelf, so we'll take a look at that later on, but there's the AJ Styles. You know, it could be better. It could definitely be better. You got a lot of repeats of the Elite 56 and 2 pack in the middle there, but maybe one day we can fix some of those up. Moving on guys, we do have Dolph Ziggler, who is uh, one of my favorite wrestlers. You guys can see here, you got the Steel in the Show plaque, Steel in the Show over here. You got a ring-worn autograph hoodie over here. So yeah, I'm, I'm a big Dolph Ziggler guy. You know, he doesn't get the best treatment, but you know, I'm, I'm still in support here. So you got all these different figures. You got a ton of customs coming over the middle. These have been on the channel for a very long time now, but they never get tired of looking at them. I love all the colors and stuff. You know, uh, you, you kind of get vibes of the channel when you look at Dolph Ziggler so you get you know the yellows the pinks the blues really stand out with the MDT logo so these are looking good you got some fantasy attires here at the end you got some fan made uh, MDT custom Dolph Ziggler's which are really badass then we get into the Jeff Hardy's which this is the reason I had to move Matt Hardy to the bottom left is because there were so many Jeff Hardy's that I had to move it and I wanted to make sure that we had a lot of these so Jeff Hardy's one of my favorites of all time as well so we had to get all of his figures in here plenty of fix ups plenty of different figures that we got going on and plenty of you know customs and fix-ups in the future as you guys can see with all of the different elite series 67 figures and uh, stuff like that i plan on removing sleeves painting some stuff up uh it's just you know you're, you're doing so many things for the channel doing pick fetting stuff to getting stuff ready for the channel in other ways so it's just not a huge priority but maybe one day we can get to some of these things as you guys can see later on with the elite 71 jeff hardy in the pink sleeves which is a very very good figure so after that guys we do get into the customs down here and we do have this pink sleeve custom that's like an inspiration from his tna jacks figure and then you do have the punisher jeff hardy the uh clown slash joker style jeff hardy and then we have willow jeff hardy which is absolutely beautiful love that custom probably one of my favorites in the collection but here's an overview from this angle a lot of crazy stuff going on 
But if we come down from there, there's another overview shot of it all. I know the lights are a little weird, but if I cut these lamps off, you guys won't be able to see a damn thing. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna make our way over to this section. In this section over here, guys, we have a ton of stuff on display. Again, I'm not gonna spend too much time here because uh, I don't wanna give all of it away here, but this was where the big change was. Okay, so over here, we had all of my Finn Balor. So the Finn Balor stretched from here all the way to here, and then they would bleed over over into this section. So what I have done is I moved the Finn Balor's over where you guys saw them, and I replaced this bottom shelf with the current roster or main roster style guys. So any guys that don't have a shelf of their own or their shelves are too high up, I will put them here for, you know, uh, main roster stuff and, you know, grabbing these guys for quick videos and stuff. So this is pretty much our main roster here. I know some guys aren't totally in the company or they're not showing off a lot. This Ric Flair's here because it's the only one I have and he's kind of been appearing on TV as of late. So that is what we got there. Again, I did rearrange some of this right here. So used to be the New Day were like all packed together down here. Dean Ambrose slash John Moxley was here and then Edge was over here, which did not change. But I took the Dean Ambrose slash John Moxley's, put them where the Finn Balor's used to bleed over into and then I separated the Daniel Bryans and the Canes a little bit and now we have uh, this big section here so you got the New Day, Edge, John Moxley slash Dean Ambrose, Daniel Bryan, Kane, then moving up, you got Cedric, Braun, the Usos, the GOAT, Chris Jericho over here. First AEW figure over here for the uh, Chris Jericho shelf. So what I used to have is all my favorites in the middle right here. So from the top, you got my boy John Cena, who is my, my certified GOAT. You know, I think John Cena's the GOAT. So I have the GOAT up here with all his different looks, which you guys have seen a million times. Under that, we have another one of my favorites, Randy Orton, Triple H. Uh, this middle section, I can't even remember. I think KO used to be here and then Finn Balor was these bottom two but then I moved uh, the Finn Balor's to the bottom moved the bottom somewhere else filled this up with Mustafa Ali Ricochet Aleister Black Ciampa and Undisputed Era Adam Cole Roderick Strong and obviously Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly and then we have my man KO right here which is another one of my favorites who has filled up this entire section right here with different looks and stuff so that is pretty much what we got going on you know I wanted to update you guys with the new display and stuff like that I gotta get up early because I gotta go hunt down some AEW action figures man I'm probably gonna toy hunt slash vlog that as well so probably be a double upload day but I wanted to put this up to you guys and just kind of get a feel for it let you guys see what changes we have made we also moved the Kurt Angles over there and the Batistas moved down and the Rey Mysterio's got some space so that's actually pretty cool to see um, if you guys were wondering there's Roman Reigns, CM Punk, Stone Cold, The Rock, Shawn Michaels, The Miz, Big Show, Sami Zayn and over here you got just a ton of guys Brock you got this random like uh, weird rest like different crazy figures down here. They're kind of like memes of the channel right here. Shinsuke, Shane McMahon, Samoa Joe, Bobby Trashley, The Club, Our Truth, Ultimate Warrior. Missing a lot of Ultimate Warriors and Macho Men right here in the middle, but that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the updated display. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would let me know down below what your favorite part of the collection is of the favorite display. I also cleaned up my arena, so I'm feeling pretty damn good about that. And well, we're looking good, man. We're looking good. I think my AEW Unrivaled figure review should start tomorrow, so you guys can look forward to that. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.